students, uh, they have problem with understanding percentage. Throughout my experience, I can tell you that. It's, it's totally true. They do not understand that they're facing a fraction with denominator 100. I recommend, because I have done it in my classes, to teach math in general using current events, um, graphing, visualization from the reality. That will help a lot the students to understand mathematics. For example, I have this graph here about the military spending in 2024 from the economies. And um, if I pick, if I choose a country here, let's let's pick Ukraine, and you can play with the students and say, look how much Ukraine, which is at war with uh, Rus Russia, Spain in 2024, 64.7 billion dollars. And you can compare with all the other countries like Japan, Italy, uh, Belgium, uh, even you have all the countries here. They can be the interaction between the numbers and they can see the interaction between percentages. Because if you if we move right here, we have the GDP. What is the percent of GDP? For example, Russia spends 7.05 percent uh, of its GDP in military spending, and Myanmar 6.79. United States spend 3.42 the percent of GDP, and then you are teaching math, but you're teaching math with engagement with reality. What do you think? I want to hear your opinion.